Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudaki, and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us to thank God for enabling each and every one of us to be here. You know, I always sensitize you guys, and I'll never stop, that you must be quick to give thanks to God for the gift, the present, which is today. A lot of people would have loved to be in your position, but they cannot be. So always be quick to give thanks for the gift of life, the gift of health. Because there are those who would take that in a heartbeat. Well, as usual, I leave my social media details right on the screen there. And so, if you'd like to reach out to me, you know, it could be a question you have, could be a topic, could be a suggestion that you'd like us to put into this channel, feel free, chat me up on my social media pages, and I'll do my very best to ensure that I get back to each and every one of you. If you have not subscribed to the channel, don't hesitate, press the subscription button and the notification bell so that you're always alerted when we post a new video which by god's grace is normally each and every sunday well guys it's a new week it's a new video and today i want us to talk about two pains that each and every one of us must choose to bear in life you will find yourself in a situation where you will have to choose from two pains that you must bear in your life. By the end of the day, that choice, that decision, will beget consequences in your life. And these two pains are either the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. A lot of us start life with goals, with plans, with visions, you know, with the things we want to achieve in life. And once you set that in place, then you must sit down and look at what does it take to achieve that vision? What does it take to achieve that goal? What does it take for you to achieve that thing you want to achieve? And you see, the thing is, a lot of us don't do that. And we are in a society where we fall in love with the final image. We fall in love with the picture. We fall in love with the ideal. But nobody wants to go through the process of delivering the ideal. You know, I always love giving an example of our Kenyan very gifted marathon runners. We see them breaking records. Recently, one of our ladies broke a record in Kenya. And we love when the records are broken. We aspire to be like them. Some young ones want to break records just like them. But soon after you get that vision, then you must sit back and look at the reality of achieving that vision. It calls for selflessness. It calls for constant training. It calls for you to put yourself in uncomfortable situations so that you can be able to achieve that which you want to achieve. And you see, the thing is, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret more often than not is made by one choice. To do it or not to do it. In this world we live in today, Marriage has become a difficult, difficult relationship for a lot of people. And this is because of that same parting ways. Pain of discipline or the pain of regret. You know, there are things you must decide to do when you're in a committed relationship. There are things you cannot do when you're in a committed relationship. When I read the Bible, it's the part that Paul says, when I was a young man, when I was a boy, I behaved like a boy. But when I became a man, I put aside the boyish things, the childish things, and became a man. And discipline is what keeps us on track. And so it's an absolute waste of time for you to sit down, draw up your whole vision. You know, when I talk to young people, I ask them, what do you see in the next 10 years? 
I'd like to be a general manager. I'd like to be an operations manager. I'd like to own my own business. I'd like to own my own, um, I'd like to be an entrepreneur. Okay? Great dreams, good visions. However, we start working from there and coming back. Are you doing the things that will help you achieve that vision? Are you surrounding yourself with people who will help you achieve that vision? Are you reading books that will help you become that person you want to be? Are you in an environment that fosters that vision? Are you in relationships that will help you move forward with relation to the achievement of that vision? And so remember, the choice of the pain of discipline is really, really hard. But discipline begets success. That is the main difference with a lot of people. A lack of discipline, a lack of consistency, a lack of plugging in when you don't feel like plugging in. That's where the difference comes in. And once you choose that pain, and more often than not, it's earlier in your process towards your vision, then you are sure, not sure, but at least you have a high percentage of avoiding regret because at least your discipline will help you achieve your goal. Regret is a painful thing because it's in the past. You cannot change it. You cannot go back and change anything. You know, in my culture, they say, your old age will question your youth. Your old age will question your youth. Daniel, why didn't we do this in our 20s? Why didn't we take care of our body when we were younger? Why didn't we keep away from environments that destroyed us rather than built us? A lot of times you'll find that the answer was a lack of discipline. And so discipline is an ingredient that delivers success. Discipline is the catalyst that ensures that you get to the summit of that mountain, the summit of your vision, the realization of the goals at which you've always wanted to achieve. Personally, I know I'm on a journey of strengthening my resolve and showing that I can be disciplined in the matters that which I have set myself to do. Because I know that's the only way that I can achieve or get the prize. Without discipline, then wait for the pain of regret. And the pain of regret has no cure because it's with you all along. And so today I'll urge you, I'd rather the pain of discipline because eventually it will give you success. You know, I remember watching a documentary on Usain Bolt, uh, the 100 meters record holder. And I would see what he had to do off season, the kind of exercises he had to do the kind of diet he had to be in, the things his body wants to do but he cannot because then they'll compromise his journey towards hitting and maintaining world records. And he'd say it's not easy because his friends around him are having a good time. You know, he has money, isn't it? He's made the money and his friends are enjoying it. But probably not him because his target was yet to be achieved. And so when you look at the 9.58 second record in the 100 meter run, don't just look at that. Look at what he had to do to get there. That is discipline. And so my brothers and sisters, I want you to look at your life this coming week and ask yourself, what have I not achieved because I chose not to pick up the pain of discipline. 
What have I not achieved because I have been in discipline in my processes, in my procedures, and in how I carry myself out? Do an audit. Do a self-audit. In Kenya, we say have a meeting with yourself. Njite kamkutano. And ask yourself, where have I fallen short? Because I would rather choose the pain of regret than the pain of discipline. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I pray that God will bless you. He'll keep you this coming week. He'll give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in everything you're going through. Nothing you're going through is new. Somebody else has been through it. And some have made it through. And so will you, as long as you have the faith and the belief in yourself. Never give up. Take care and God bless. Choose the pain of discipline. Because the pain of regret is too much to bear.